Hello everyone and welcome to what may be the first and only, depending on how well it goes, uh, of Roy's Art Roundup. Things that are happening on Paint My Photo and things that are happening art-wise on the internet as a whole that I can screen capture and we can talk about. Um, if this, you like this video and this format, let me know and I'll do some more of them. Um, people who may not be out there watching on YouTube who aren't familiar with Paint My Photo, we are a growing website that is due to grow even more as time goes on. Basically, Paint My Photo is a site where people, uh, photographers upload photographs and inherent in the uh, joining procedure is that you give permission for the photos that you upload to be used as references for um, people to paint from and draw from to use for artwork. That was the idea uh, which I started it uh, in 2010. Here we are now in 2013 and we are, um, gr you know, we've got over 7,000 members and over 50,000 photos um, and it's not so much the size of the site but it's the quality of the people that are on the site and the quality of the interaction the social side of it is brilliant um, anyway the, f the way to find out is to join it if you're interested in art or if you're a photographer and you like the idea of allowing people to paint from your photographs please consider joining us on paint my photo uh, the URL is paintmyphoto.ning.com which you can see which you can see here on my taskbar and um, what I'm going to talk about in this episode we've also got a, uh, a magazine or a newsletter we called it but it's grown into a magazine we're actually on issue six now there's a link here on the home page um, and uh, it's something quite spectacular it's uh, it's growing phenomenally <laughs> and I've been really surprised at how well it's been received and it's completely free and it's as good as many mag art magazines you'll find on the shelves that you have to pay uh, quite, a num quite an amount of money for so I'm really pleased with that and it's something that we're going to grow in the future incidentally if you are going to join up on Paint My Photo um, you'll find that you can actually join uh, in the standard way via sort of email sign up but you, it also you can join up through using Facebook or Twitter so quite good like that um, there's going to be a major upgrade in uh, late summer which there'll be quite a few changes not to the format of the site and what it's about but there'll be a more flexibility and we'll be able to do a lot more with the site than we've been doing so far just quickly to show those who if you first join up you think okay what's on here it can be a bit confusing like a lot of uh, complex sites when you first join but if you're an artist looking for something to um, to paint from I suggest you go here to the find a photo section which uh, this was put together by uh, one of our admins uh, incidentally shout out to the admins that's what makes this site so special is the administrators we've got all completely voluntary but uh, Ruth Archer who I'll mention again in a moment uh, put put this together for us so if I just um, uh, well first of all if you just want to see all the photos you go to the photos tab up here which I'll do now uh, in fact I think I've already gone to it on this tab so there you go um, we have some featured photos there's a team of people who put together the featured photos uh, it's just personal taste so don't necessarily read too much into that you can do searches which we'll talk about in a moment and you'll see here we're just over 50,000 photos the main gallery just to say the main gallery is for um, photos to paint from and also people's paintings that have been made from those photos if you want to find out more about that when you join just go to the help section or the how you've got the site guidelines and the how do I as well as the site help oh, sorry the guidelines really is about you know the procedural things involved how do I is the first place to go site help um, adding a link to artworks what we do like people to do is let me just go on to one of these there's for example there's a, a, a painting here that's been done by oh I've done this person plume de poule uh, I hope I've pronounced that right it's rather a nice pastel rather like a um, uh, it, it, it's rather like a Monet painting very very good but here you'll see that uh, this person has put in a link to the original photo so if there's the painting and if we click on here we'll go to the uh, original photo which is added by a photographer called John Warren so you can see how it works the idea is it's great to be able to see the reference that the artist has used and it's really that that's made the site grow the way that it has is that it's interesting to to see 
the um, the influence that the photo photography has had on the art that's then created from it. They're not. It's not. Uh, cop they're not always just copies. My own art is very very loose. Um, it's about interpretation. I mean, this has been interpreted. You know, it's similar to the photo, but it has been interpreted. So back here on the home screen of Paint My Photo, you've got the newsletter here, which can be easily linked from here. Um, now, if we go over to the, this is the. Uh, it's a, it's a site called Issue, I-S-S-W, which allow you to upload uh, PDFs, um, which uh, are then free for anyone to view. Um, it's just that it's a large file, so it's the way you can view it in a web browser. If you join up on Issue, which is simple to do, it's all free, you can then download it as a PDF. And uh, feel free to send that to friends, to put it on your own website even. As long as you don't change or edit it, that's absolutely fine. Don't change any of the links within it. Um, that's just something that we ask. We um, we do look for other copies of it. We will look for other copies of it on other websites just to check everyone's doing the right things. And obviously, it's a very high value item in in a sense because there's tutorials in there, there's uh, articles from uh, photographers, etc. But please don't anybody if any if you, if you see anyone selling uh, the magazine anywhere, please let us know because that's obviously not allowed. That's not the point. Just to say that the newsletter is all put together by a lady called Ruth Archer, who I've already mentioned, one of our administrators. Just a quick drive through on how it works if you're in the web browser using it on issue. If you click once and then use your mouse, it's very easy to, to view, uh, zoom in and zoom out. Um, you can use your cursor keys to change the uh, pages. There we are. Um, there's articles by photographers. Um, uh, there's uh, articles by artists as well um, so one of the things that I'm going to talk about is the uh, the artists and the um, demonstrations that have been created like our friend David Stribling who is a professional artist uh, living in the UK living and working in the UK has produced two tutorials in here for us on uh, his oil technique. So I'm going to break this up a little bit and in the next video, um, which I'll be doing more or less straight away, I'm going to talk about the uh, different artists that have uh, done tutorials in the magazine and uh, give my observations on uh, some of the things they've done. Okay, thanks for watching so far. Um, I hope you will, if you're an artist and you're not already a member of Paint My Photo, I hope you'll join us and see all the exciting things that are happening.